Hello and welcome to Sex Talk with Linda, episode 10, Five Steps to End Premature Ejaculation Anxiety. And I'll also share a free guided meditation. I'm Linda Connors and I'm an international sex hypnotherapist and confidence coach. I have 15 years experience working with male sexual problems. A lot of men who come to work with me for premature ejaculation often have very high levels of sexual anxiety. Anxiety about ejaculating too quickly, anxiety about not pleasing their partner, anxiety about failing. And and when you feel anxious about ejaculating too quickly, your, your body naturally enters into two modes, the fight or flight response. So the flight anxiety is when you want to get out of the bedroom, you want to flee the situation, the anxiety becomes all-consuming and when this happens, certain functions in the body stop working. And on a sexual level, we're talking about ejaculation control. For men who avoid sex with their partner, avoid intimacy, this is the flight anxiety response being dominant. Then there's the fight anxiety response. When men experience this fight response, they want to stay and fight with the anxiety. So what happens is, um, if, if this is you, you focus all your energy on trying to control the anxiety, trying to control your thoughts. And this takes up a lot of energy. And and when you're trying to do this, you are, of course, losing connection and presence with your partner. And this, of course, results often for men with early ejaculation because the body is focusing on fighting the anxiety. And once again, certain functions in the body stop working and you lose your ejaculation control. So how do you break out of this cycle of early ejaculation and the fear of performing badly in bed and the fight and flight response? So today I'm going to share with you five steps that you can take now to break out of this cycle. So step one, slow down your breathing. This may seem obvious, but in the heat of the moment, you are most likely to forget. When you feel anxious, this naturally increases your breathing rate, which then increases your heart rate, which then sends a message to your brain that something is happening, which causes even more anxiety and adrenaline because your body is preparing to either fight or flight. So a real simple breathing exercise is simply breathing in to the count of five, pausing, and then breathing out to the count of five. So let's do this together now, taking a gentle in-breath in, breathing in to the count of five, pausing, and then breathing out to the count of five. Repeat, breathing in to the count of five, pausing, and then slowly breathing out to the count of five. Now to get into the habit of this slow breathing, a suggestion is to practice during the day. Nobody needs to know. You can do it when you're walking, um, at work. It's, It's very subtle. And so step two is the fixed mindset. Your fixed mindset is the belief that you can't change and the belief that premature ejaculation will always happen 
and there's nothing you can do to control ejaculation. This fixed mindset keeps you stuck in this unwanted place. What do you think you become? Begin to practice stepping in to the growth mindset. The growth mindset learns from failing. It sees it as an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to create change by taking growth mindset action. Now to find out more about the fixed mindset and the growth mindset, and what I also call the sexual mindset, episode 9, How to Improve Your Sexual Mindset, gives you instructions and a meditation on how to do this. Step 3. You are not your thoughts. Just before sex or during sex, what is your inner dialogue? Is it, it will happen again? I am going to ejaculate too soon. I can't control it. I can't please my partner. So even though it may feel like it, your thoughts do not have power over you. They are not a part of you. The more you try to fight or change these thoughts, the more that these thoughts will dominate you and your life and your sexual experiences. Now in step three, you are not your thoughts. A a way to begin to change your relationship with your thoughts is to begin to accept your thoughts. When you accept them, they gradually lose their power over you. So think about one thought um, that you have in relation to sex and in relation to ejaculating. Just get a sense, perhaps it's, um, it will happen again. And just get a sense of what it's like to accept that thought. That there's nothing that you need to do to try and, ch- try and change it, to improve it. A lot of people get caught up in the trap of trying to fix their thoughts, trying to improve their thoughts. And what that actually does is actually creating more energy for inner conflict. And that inner conflict causes more anxiety. So by accepting your thoughts, this inner conflict begins to resolve. The fight and flight response resolve. And the thoughts will gradually lose their power over you. Step four, check your focus. Now, in my experience of working with men and premature ejaculation is a lot of their high intensity focus is on their thoughts, their mind and the penis and groin area. This is what I call the hyper focus PE system. Because the hyper focus is so intense, all the energy is placed in your mind and your groin and penis area, which then increases hypersensitivity and high arousal. When we think about focus, when we think about sexual energy, it should be naturally spread throughout the whole body. So if it's just focused in one or two areas, this is naturally going to increase your hypersensitivity, your penis sensitivity and high arousal. So begin to breathe in to your whole body. So a simple practice to connect with your whole body is is to feel your feet on the ground. Feel your awareness of your feet on the ground. To be grounded, to be present in all of you. And just breathing from your, taking in breath in through your whole body, down through your legs and through your feet. Step five, stop trying to please your partner. I know as a man, you may be thinking, what? (laughs) What is she talking about? That is my role. Men often feel anxious and feel like they have failed if they can't sexually please their partner. So you are most likely trying too hard. And when this happens, your anxiety increases and it happens again. You ejaculate too quickly. And the more the anxiety is there, the more that you become disconnected from yourself and not present within yourself and also disconnected and not present with your partner. 
and your partner will most likely pick up on this. So rather than trying to please your partner, connect with your partner, be present with your partner. Sex is about two people coming together and there's going to be times of course naturally when couples take it in turns to please the other but if you're putting all your role if you, if you believe your sexual function and your sexual role is purely to please your partner that is going to add more pressure more anxiety to you practice being present with your partner being connected with your partner it may feel difficult at first, but letting go of the outcome and being present in the now is a gift that you give yourself and you give your partner. So now I'm going to share with you a guided meditation. Do not listen to this guided meditation if you are driving a vehicle, operating machinery or when it's not safe to do so. So in this guided meditation, we're just going to go through these five steps and just to experiment what's going to feel different for you as you put these five steps into action. So closing your eyes and taking a gentle breath into your body. Taking a slow and gentle breath into your body. Breathing in to the count of five and releasing to the count of five. And as you breathe in to your body, feeling your body receiving your breath, breathing in calmness and releasing on the out breath letting go of any tightness or tension or discomfort that you are ready to let go of here today breathing in gently and slowly into your body This slow breathing rate naturally calms the body down. Even placing your hand over your heart. Have a physical connection with your emotional heart. As you continue to slow your breathing down to a rate, to a pace that feels right for you. For most people, it's breathing in to the count of five and releasing to the count of five. Finding your rhythm, discovering what works for you. And now imagine that you are building the foundations of a new sexual growth mindset. This mindset is grounded, strong and present. It works with your strengths. It learns from failing and it sees everything as an opportunity to learn and to grow and to create change by taking growth mindset action. So feeling the presence of the foundation of this sexual growth mindset being built in your mind, being embodied and embedded within you. And with this new growth mindset, you begin to gain a new awareness, acceptance and perception that you are not your thoughts. They are not part of your identity. So you create space to just accept them for what they are. Simply thought 
passing through your mind. And if that feels difficult at first, simply say, repeat in your inner mind, I am willing to learn how to accept my thoughts. And bringing your awareness and focus to the whole of you, not just your mind, not just your groin and penis area. Each part of you has sexual energy. Each part of you has sexual experiences, not just your groin and penis area, but the whole of you. Bringing your breath down through your heart, your gut, your pelvic area, and into your groin and penis, and releasing the breath. And breathing in once more, and this time through your heart, your gut, your pelvic area, your groin, your penis, and all the way down to your feet. Being connected with the whole of you. Bring awareness to your feet, to the top of your head, and feeling the energy flowing through all of you, spreading out feeling grounded and connected. And imagine now your partner, if you are currently single, imagine a future partner in front of you. And imagine now, rather than trying to please your partner, trying too hard, simply connect with your partner. And the way to do this is first being connected with you, with yourself. So breathing into your body, feeling the presence within you. And allowing this energy to connect with your partner and to be present with your partner. And feeling the difference here. Noticing what feels different within you. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes. And as you do, bringing the experience of this meditation, this guided meditation within you back into your life. So that you haven't just listened to this meditation. You become it. You live it. You express it. So now, gently open your eyes. Taking a couple of gentle breaths. And I hope you have enjoyed this free five steps to end premature ejaculation anxiety and the guided meditation. Please press like if you have enjoyed it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are looking to work more deeply with me, I invite you to look at my website. If what I, if the way that I work and resonates with you, I invite you to contact me when you are ready. So once again, thank you for joining me here today and I look forward to meeting you on the next episode of Sex Talk with Linda.